Thank you. What a great crowd here tonight. It's great to be back home in front of the greatest fans in the entire country, especially college football fans. Thank you. You're the best. We got a special guest tonight. And when, when you talk about Notre Dame and you talk about Notre Dame football, there are so many great names associated with the history and the tradition of Notre Dame. But this one name always stands out. He's been there for many, many years talking about Notre Dame. He's been in the broadcasting business for many, many, many years. I won't say how many, but when you hear this guy talk about Notre Dame, he talks about it with his heart. He's a graduate of Notre Dame. He loves Notre Dame. And we're so, so happy to have him here tonight. I want to introduce to you Regis Philbin. Regis, come on up here. Thanks very much. The ladies still love you, Regis. Really Look at them. So? Eat your hearts out, you know what I mean? <laughs> Thank you, ladies. No, I'm kidding, guys. <laughs> uh, it's time for us to win a national championship. Agreed. It really is. And, and I thought, with this team, you know, and then we lost that running back in the first game. And I, I almost cried. He's such a great runner. I cried. <laughs> But you got you got a better one. You got a gr another great runner in there. CJ Prosai stepped up big for us. Prosai, where is where is Prosai? Where is he? Where is he? Where is Prosai? CJ, where is he? CJ, Regis wants to see where you are. Where are you, CJ? Prosai, you're dynamite. Yeah, you're great, man. Keep running like that. Do you hear me? Okay. So then, then we had a second game, and we lost the quarterback. Malik Zaire. Yeah, Malik Zaire. But you brought another guy in. Yep, yep. And, and honest to God, I just want to say, it was the greatest 12 seconds of my life <laughs> to see the end of that game. You, you, got, you, got a, you got the pass going? Yeah, Deshaun Kaiser stepped in big for us, came in and hit Will Fuller. Where, where's Kaiser? Look at you. Beautiful pass. Keep throwing that ball, guys. You can do it. But there's one other guy. They're all, they're all great. This is a great team. Great team. Great team. But there's one of the guy who, who never misses catching a touchdown. And he's the guy that caught that 12-second touchdown. Yeah, what yeah. What is his name? Uh, his name is, uh, his name is. Come on. Will Fuller, that's Where's it, Will Fuller? Fuller. There he is. I love him. I love him. You are the greatest the greatest, fastest runner there is. You can't, can I see him? Uh, beautiful yeah. out of hand. Yeah. You're a beautiful guy. You catch those passes and you win games, man. And this is what we're gonna do, right? Yes, yeah, so he actually paid for that, too. <laughs> anyway, I think you got a great team here. We do. And I, I, I just think I, I wish the best for you. Thanks, for them. Thank you. It's time. It's our time. Really, it is. It is. It is. We got the, we got the right team. We got yeah. a great group, and we got great fans. Uh, yeah. the, 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 atmosphere, the atmosphere that we created, uh, our last home game against Texas was electric. Yes. And uh, we need that again yes. against Georgia Tech. Yeah. And we need everybody out there for You're that game. You're absolutely right. Yeah. You know something, Coach? Uh, I, I, my first time here, I, I hate to tell everybody this, but it was in 1949. Now that was what, uh, 60, how many years ago? Um, who, <laughs> any, any math majors anybody, here? Can anybody figure that out? 
66 years ago. 66 years ago, I stood here. And Frank Leahy was up there. Frank Leahy. And he had three, uh, three uh, years behind him and two championships. And he told me, he told us, told all the guys, I want to talk to the freshmen for just uh, a couple of minutes. And he told us who we were and what Notre Dame would mean to us and how we should remember it for the rest of our lives, which I did and which I love. And I love Notre Dame and I love being here with you and with these guys and good luck tomorrow, okay? Thanks, Regis. Knock them Thank you so much. Knock them down. You can do it, you can beat it. He just filled with everybody. He's the best. He loves Notre Dame and has been a great supporter of, of Notre Dame athletics, Notre Dame the university, ever since I got a chance to meet him. We've got a couple of speakers for you uh, that, that we want to introduce, and we'll start uh, by introducing uh, Jerron Jones. Jerron Jones, as you know, one of our starting defensive linemen. He's gonna start it off for you. Jerron, right here. Hello, Notre Dame. How is everybody tonight? First off, on behalf of Sheldon Day here, I have to send a shout out to P.E. the Pyros. And then on behalf of Jerron Jones, I have to send a shout out to P-Dub. Okay, I'm gonna be interviewing a couple people here tonight. First off, we're gonna have the hometown guy, Isaac Rochelle, come out. I gotta get into my uh, interviewer mode. So Isaac Rochelle, being from Atlanta, Georgia, which I believe is 20 minutes from the campus of Georgia Tech? Uh, no, I'm actually from McDonough, Georgia. That's 20 minutes from Georgia Tech. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> so, what is it like playing against the hometown team? I mean, I think it's cool, but I think the most important thing is that Notre Dame is now my hometown. And that's right, that's right. And, and I think that this team, this is a national championship team. I also think that we have the best fans in the country, best students in the country. So, I mean, it is my hometown team, kinda, but Notre Dame's my hometown right now, so. All right. <laughs> so next up, we have the guy who's well known for his biceps. Romeo Aquara. How you doing, sir? I'm doing great. You're doing great. So, we've played a lot of triple option teams, struggle with them. How is the D-Boys going to step up against the triple option this game? <laughs> all right, well, first of all, I think we got to play for each other. We have a great group of guys right behind me right here. And um, as long as I have these guys firing before me, right, after, right behind me, you know, we're, we're going to get the win. And uh, the triple option, as long as we all do our job, I think we can get the W with these great fans here. Thank you very much, Isaac. Thank you very much, Isaac. Sheldon Day. How are you tonight? Sheldon, come back, please. All right, well, Sheldon, I'll give you a couple compliments if that makes you feel better. Your beautiful dreads that amazing smile, that luscious body. <laughs> One thing that we don't really know about is, you know, what Sheldon turns into when he's on the field. What was that? We call him Sheldon Knight. Do you guys know who Sheldon Knight is? I say, what do I say? 
should be standing right over there. Yeah, I do. Shel Where's Sheldon Knight? Sheldon Knight! Sheldon Knight! I got one thing to say. We will beat Georgia Tech. I miss you, Irish fans. <laughs> Here you go, Coach Kelly. Thanks, Saron. From now on, I'll get the script before we come out here. <laughs> I can say this, uh, and, and this I know. Uh, the group behind me here, including all of our coaches and support staff, have worked hard all week preparing uh, to play Georgia Tech. And we respect every opponent, Georgia Tech. <laughs> we, we respect every opponent, but I will tell you, we don't fear anybody. And, and tomorrow, we will go in there, and we believe that we're the better football team, and we're gonna beat Georgia Tech. And we're gonna beat them, we're gonna beat them, we're gonna beat them the old-fashioned way. We're gonna block better, we're gonna tackle better, we're gonna execute better, and we're gonna play better football for four quarters. So stay there for four quarters, We'll be there with you. You stay with us and go Irish. Thank you.